first skill to develop in chess calculation is calculating out all of the direct checks. You calculate them until they run out. Do you have a forced mate? So in this case, taken from the game Schmidt vs. Schmidt from Heidenberg, 1946, sounds like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad, White was down three pawns, but on move. Now what happens when we play queen h6 check? So queen h6 check, king takes h6, h takes g6 check, king g5, rook h5 check, king takes h5, f4 check, knight takes e2, knight f6 check, king h6, rook h1 check, king g7, our knight on f6 is attacked, but we have the decoy, knight e8 check, rook takes e8, rook takes h7 check, king f6, rook takes f7 is a quite spectacular mating pattern. Let's take a look. Queen h6 check, double x clam, take, check, king g5, check, take. We don't want to allow the king to run away to safety, so we play this to create the mating net. Take, check, here. Now you could throw in, you could throw in queen h3, it makes almost no difference. The important thing here is to not miss knight e8 check. That's the key move. Key decoy to win with rook takes f7 mate. Take and we have a mate. There we go.